Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Today is Thursday, March 23rd, 2023, and we have a new banner facing us today. But before we get into the details of our new mobile suit and main event, let's go for some news. We have the over 5 million download special thank you campaign for Gundam Battle Operation 2 still ongoing. The last day being March 29th at 10.59 p.m. So if you haven't been taking advantage of those free pulls courtesy of this special campaign, I urgently urge you. It's a very weird expression in itself, but I can express the urgency to definitely take advantage of those free pulls, which potentially can drop a four-star item for you as well. So get to it, gentlemen and ladies. Our main event is been revealed. The flight unit type goof from Thunderbolt, specifically Ben Bauer, if you've been watching the anime, is finally here, and we'll go over those details shortly. But to add on top of the news that we have, we have a notice of a limited supply drop for a reissue of the, that's a tongue twister, RX-0 Phoenix from Gundam NT. This is a 700 cost 4 star unit for those that are unaware. If you don't have the suit, this is the time to get it. Or it save your tokens for what's to come. There's several theories out there, but well, which one of them is true? Changes to the RT ticket counter change. Wow. Is as follows. We have the Black Rider gracing us, both the level one and level two. That is 450, 500 respectively. Uh, for those of you that are fans of Code Fairy or haven't played the game, this is a pretty stealthy, nasty suit um, that's available now if you've been saving up those tickets. And we do have some additional things with clan match so on to our main event all right folks we have our little goof flight unit here i keep on wanting to call it flight type but it is a full oh, two star I said four star sorry two star ground only 400 cost general based on the original goof it was seized from xeon after the one-year war and modified and operated by a faction known as the south seas alliance it does have a great deal in common, as the fluff text relates to the goof custom specifically, such as the armor and the other optional embedded weapons. But compared to the original goof, it has numerous fixed weapons for close range skirmishes and was modified to be quite personal, hence the fight units there. Uh, it has two large fans on its back that provide hovering capabilities and area mobility, and as I mentioned earlier, it is only available on the ground. Now, if you're doing 10 pulls because you want a greater chance to get it. Uh, you do have a chance, if you don't have it already, to get the 10th iteration of the Xeonic normal suit. Now, I only have the helmet. I don't have the normal suit portion, which adds these lovely little shoulder pads on the top of there. But you can kind of omit that with just the regular Xeon suit. But if you don't have it, this is the time to show your support for that Xeon, for the spirit of Xeon. All right, folks, on to the nitty gritty details behind our new mobile suit. All right, ladies and gentlemen, here is the nitty gritty details behind our new mobile suit, the Goof Flight Unit from Thunderbolt. Now, mine is slightly modified, so the stats will be different. Starting with the part slots, we are running 14, 9, and 5 on a stock unit. Uh, this also has 15k HP. 17, 15 in uh, ballistic and melee, and 10s for your beam resistance. It does seem to be a little more melee heavy, considering you have the 30 value in melee and 10 in range. Uh, move speed being 130 and high speed movement at 190, and turning speed of 60, which is a little bit better than the um, Goof VD that it, I believe it's being compared to right now. I know I was comparing it directly, uh, since we have something that has sort of the same sort of aesthetics and I would say capabilities as well. Um, as with the VD, since we'll use that as an example, 
it does come stock with a giant bazooka instead of the Zaku machine gun like the VD does. Uh, pretty standard numbers, 15, uh, 1600, excuse me, six shots, and effective range of 325 meters, 7.4 uh, seconds cooldown time between shots, and a 17.5 second reload time. Um, this is the only weapon they can use, so I wouldn't even bother trying to go into other details. That may change in the future. Uh, it has a specific goof, goof Heat Saber coming in at 2250, 2.5 seconds. I believe it is 50 points higher than the Goof VD level 3 at this cost range. So, pretty similar values, probably more if we took uh, melee strength into account. Uh, the Heat Rod specifically for this one comes in at 1900, and I think the VD is a little bit less. I mean, I think at 16 or 1700. Uh, the Goof 3 Barrel Gatling Gun, as with the VD as well. Uh, this one actually hits harder, 200 base value versus 160, 170 for the VD. The only difference is this one is a 3 shot burst versus full auto, like the other uh, iteration. And doesn't have very good uh, stun accumulation based on what we did on stream earlier. 175 meters, 30 rounds in the mag, so basically 10, sh 10 bursts essentially before dry it goes dry. 8 second reload time, which is pretty good. As another sub weapon, it has the Zaku machine gun specific to this uh, unit. Comes at 100 base power, which is not a whole lot. 60 rounds, effective range of 275 meters, and a reload time of 10 seconds. Now what we did get to find out in practice mode is that it will make something flinch in about 12 shots. I believe that's good enough for MA1. And of course if we're fighting something with MA2, um, I believe the easy thing is going to be between Bazooka and Machine Gun, or Bazooka Heat Rod, depending on your situation. Um, also comes with a shield as well, just like the VD does, comes in at 3000 HP. So pretty decent specs all around, I would say. I don't think it outrights fully replaces the VD, but it definitely does, I think, the job a little bit better, especially with what we're going to get into, which is the skills and a little more details on the flight unit. All right, ladies and gentlemen, going over the shopping list of the Goof flight unit skills, we got some basic general stuff that we're used to seeing, like leg shock absorbers and quick boost, um, although this one actually has it at level 3, so the charge time when jumping is 30%. Has a roll. This one actually, over the VD, actually has leg buffers, so that's always a, uh, a plus in any book for that matter. Uh, we do have flight control program level 2. Uh, obviously it comes with balancers, can't imagine uh, a general not coming with balancers at this cost range. You have a 2 hit combo, a performance radar, now details about the flight system, it comes with it at level 1, so very similar to the flight test type. You do have high spec flight control as well, which is I believe a little more specific to this suit because it does sync the flight, move, uh, excuse me, flight mode movement and melee attacks to the reticle direction. Smooth high speed normal movement transitions for improved air combat, and it lowers attack power when in use when you're in flight mode. Um, based on what I can see, we've tried it with ranged weapons, we tried it with melee weapons. It doesn't seem like it it produces that much, but we were testing on a stock Grandpa Gundam. So it's going to be interesting to see what you're going to be fighting against as far as uh, advantage type or disadvantage types mobile suits in the field. But I don't feel like it's anything to worry about as far as um, the actual values, the penalty or this is, I don't think it's going to be a big a factor based on what I was able to see. Um, you do have also a specific add-on buffer, special back buffer for the back there, the 2% damage reduction, and rifle, so you got the big giant hover unit on its back and it looks pretty cool. So there you have it folks, that is the nitty gritty details on tonight's banner, news, and banner mobile suit. If you enjoyed what you heard what you saw, found it very informative, and in some way entertaining, 
please do not hesitate to hit that like and subscribe button. Make sure those bell notifications are enabled. It immensely helps out the channel. And until next time, guys, I will see you all in the next video. So take care.